Hello, look who it is. It's Jen. Hi. <laughs> um, I'm back uh, doing the old doing the old streamy streams again. Um, I just have to figure out how to open up the uh, what do you call it? The flipping chat window. And then I guess we'll be on our we'll be on our little way, won't we? Um there should be like a chat box actually, like a transparent chat box. Um, but it's not coming up on the stream, so just make sure my tits are visible. I mean, don't get me wrong, I know how you know, I know how this whole thing works. That's it, there we go. Oh my god. <laughs> Okay, um, how are we? Are we good? Are we well? Are we lovely? That's great. <laughs> good to hear. Uh, if anyone knows how I get my little chat box up again, I would appreciate that. No, I know. It's in, it's in the old channel manager. I had it up and then it literally uh, closed. So we're going to go uh, pop out, pop out chat. There we go. Now I can see you all. Oh my god. It's Lexi. Hello, Lexi. It's so nice to see you again. We're back. Welcome to Jen Blends. This is a new series in which I, Jen Ives, uh, I blend. What do you blend? Oh, I blend things on Blender, obviously. It's pretty crazy. As you can see, uh, we, ha we have our cube, our little... Uh, little cube the cube that comes when you open blender right the first thing you get is this cube as you can see uh, it can be rotated my computer's a little bit laggy because it can't quite handle uh the webcam enis and the um the light the lighting looks like shit i think it would be nicer if i was visible Is that a bit intense? I don't know. It's fine. It's fine. We'll manage Kathy. Anyway, uh, four viewers. Wow, amazing. Here we are. So, Lexi sees the cube. A robot. Well, I don't want to brag, but I'm actually a little bit more experienced with Blender than just, like, a robot. But if, if a robot is what you want, Lexi, a robot is what you'll get. Um... But what I would implore you to do is have a little think about what it is, Lexi, that you would like to see on Gen Blends. I will literally, I will make on Blender anything for you. If you want some inspiration, I can, uh, I can show you the other shapes that are available. Press Shift A, go to Mesh, we can have a plane. Not like an aeroplane, but like a like a like a flat surface for things to be on. Or we can have an icosphere, and I don't know what an icosphere is a hundred percent, but it looks cool when you make it. Cylinder. My favorite is the torus because it's like a donut. It's an insta donut, or if you will, like a. One of those pillows that old people sit on when they've got hemorrhoids. Shall we make a hemorrhoid pillow? <laughs> Let's make a hemorrhoid pillow. Just to warm up, okay? Look, you see that Taurus? <laughs> there she is. Well, there she is, but we'll just we'll change her shape a little bit first. Give her a few more dump give her a few more segments. Uh, you can kind of make it like that. It's like a spaceship. My God, what is this, the 1950s? Or you can kind of give it, round it off a bit more. Look at that. That's, I mean, <laughs> I'll show you something here. That you'll, you'll like this. Hold on. Imagine that that's your anus. And it's like, ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> Stop, Jen. Okay. So hemorrhoid pillow. Oh, look at that. The other day, just I was playing around on here and I made a Terry's chocolate orange. And what I did was I went like this. And then I lowered the segments like that. Instant, ter instant Terry's chocolate. You get about 20. Instant Terry's chocolate orange. 
But we're not here to do a Terry's chocolate orange. We're here to do a hemorrhoid pillow. Okay. Now we're not there yet. Okay. What's wrong with this hemorrhoid pillow? It's a little bit... <laughs> it's not Kathy's anus. It's your anus. Um, this, this hemorrhoid pillow, it's a little bit lumpy. You wouldn't want to sit on a hemorrhoid pillow with that amount of lumps on it. You would want something a little bit smoother. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click it and I'm going to shade it smooth. Oh, now that's a pillow. That's a hemorrhoid pillow and a half. But is it though? We, we There's more things that we can do with this. Okay. <laughs> we can kind of change. There we go. Oh, look at that. Who invented the wheel? <laughs> Jen invented the wheel. Uh, a hemorrhoid pillow, I would reckon. That's a hemorrhoid pillow that's been sat on quite a lot. That's a hem. That's a new hemorrhoid pillow. We'll go about. We'll go about midway. Uh, we don't want it to be perfectly round, do we? We want it to have a little bit of um. A little bit of character. <laughs> Now, we've done that now, haven't we? The hemorrhoid pillow is done. We don't have any lights on it yet. We've got this one light. What I'm doing here is I'm just taking you through. the. If you're uninitiated with Blender, I'm just showing you some of the things what we can do before we take your suggestions. I don't know why I'm saying we. Now, it comes with a light here. See, that's a light source. You click on that light source. And it tells you a bit about it. I don't know if you can see it. But you move it a bit closer. You can see it's not really doing anything. That's because you have to turn on the flipping thing. There we go. We've got full render now. This is our camera here. So what we can do, Kathy, is we can move the camera a bit closer to our hemorrhoid pillow. We'll move the light a bit over there. Um, we'll come back to to not to this angle, or maybe this. Yeah, this angle. We'll just give it a little rotation, and we'll just bring the camera down a little bit. And then what will happen is you press the camera, and you can see the flipping pillow. Look at that. We'll just we'll just move the camera a little bit. There we go. Now, as you can see. That light, it's a bit much in it. It's a bit much, that light. It's like, oh my God, you're blinding me with the lights. A bit like this light over here. Um, so what you can do with that is you can go to, to lights. You can click the light, go to lights, and you can change it to, let's have an, let's have, keep it as a point light. Let's bring the power down a bit. Oh, that's up. <laughs> power down. There we go. That's, that's a bit more normal we filmed the pillow didn't we Lexi you having fun I'm having fun I'll tell you that now we can change the color of the light we can have a nice oh look at that I like I like nice purple light on it um, we can diff we can diffuse it diff diffuse it it's, it is fun, isn't it? Right, Lexi, I think you're the only one participating at the moment, so I have to ask you this important question. What are we making? Because this, hem this hemorrhoid pillow is just a test. This will not be going... What I, one thing that I want to do with this stream is I want to make fun images and then have a like a gallery, like a little gallery. like an, We'll build a digital art gallery for all the things that we make. So Lexi, what's it to be? What are we having? What are we making? I'm gonna delete this, say goodbye to the pillow. It's going. While you think of something, I'm going to add a plane. There we go. Nice plane. As you can see. Oh, space ducks. Perfect suggestion. 
absolutely perfect. Love that. See, that's that's the kind of thing that I'm looking for. I'm looking for that level of, of initiative. Right, so a space duck. Okay. Thank you for supplying the um, little emoji in case I didn't know what a duck looked like. So for a duck, we're going to need a sphere. Okay. You've got to start with a sphere. I'm going to turn off the render because we want to see it without light. So here it is. This is going to be our body. Okay. The body of our duck Christ. Oh no, space duck, isn't it? So we're roughly going to do a duck's shaped, like a like a duck torso. What do you what do you think of that? That's that's not bad, is it? That's. Mm, is it too? Is too big? Okay, about there. I think ducks are about that width. What width is a duck? Can anyone get me a duck measurement? And then, then we need a neck. Ducks have necks, okay? I'm, I'm no expert. I've seen some duck necks in, in my time. I once saw someone eat an entire plate of duck necks. Uh, okay, that's too big. I'm not gonna lie, that's too big. That's more like it, isn't it? Oh my god, that's a good neck. Obviously, we want it a bit shorter. Yes, the emoji duck has a neck. That's that's good. We bring. Oh no. Okay. Now what we're going to do is we're going to rotate that neck. I think we, I think we want to go. I think we want to be side on, don't we? Really. This is how we. This is how we do it. This is how. We Okay, so we're going to turn that there and we're going to bring... See, this is the thing about Blender, right, that people don't realise. It's all about shapes. If you get your shapes, you're all right. Hello, probably Lucy. Nice to see you. We are currently making a space duck on Lexi's recommendation. But I would implore you to uh, contribute. Any further ideas that you have for this space duck will be hugely appreciated. Having a good time already? I'm having a time in my life. This is kind of... I've tried uh, Twitch streaming before and I've decided that I, I just... All the times I've done it before, I was like putting in too much effort for, for too little gain. Whereas this time, I'm like... I'm just going to do this. I've got my tits. <laughs> I've got my blender. Let's just have a little, let's just, let's just have a little, you know, a little thing. A little chat and that. Uh, let's thin, thinner the duck. That's looking, I think that's looking all right. The neck's too long. I know that. I know that before you say anything. I know the neck's too long, all right? I'm aware of that. It's also too thick. That's one thick neck duck. That's a thick neck duck daddy that I can see before me. Um, let's shorten that. Thinner that. Full disclosure, I don't know all the terms for Blender. I don't 100% know what I'm doing all the time. I did like two or three YouTube tutorials. YouTube tutorials. And um, after that, I was like, you know what? I'll learn along the way. And that's what I've done. That's better, isn't it? It's more of a... See, here's the thing, right? Here's the thing that you don't realise. I'm going to teach you. It doesn't matter if you get it completely wrong as you're building the shapes. Because there's a little feature in Blender called Sculpt, where you can, like, you can sculpt it all. By the way, if you're watching this, just ignore like the whole like donations thing. You don't have to donate. Um, you can if you want, but you definitely don't have to. I just put it on there because some Twitch streamers said you're supposed to put it on there because more people watch it and people like to interact in that way on Twitch. And I was like, well, look, if people want to give me free money for doing nothing, who am I to argue with them? But uh, you don't have to. 
You don't have to do. You don't have to do anything. You don't even have to be here, actually. But I like that you are. Yeah, Jen's getting sculpty. I'm happy with the neck. The neck. That's a solid neck. That's a good neck. But you know what this duck needs? A head. <laughs> oh yeah. We're gonna add another sphere. It's too big. Scale it down by pressing S. Little hack there for you. Don't know if you you won't get those kind of tips from the manual. Uh we'll bring that up. Oh, God. Do you know what? When I'm doing Blender, do you know what I feel like? Do you know who I feel like? I feel like God, right? Oh my God, Lucy. Yes, I know you. You did accost me outside of, of a pizza place in Edinburgh. I like your artwork a lot. I actually feel a little bit self-conscious now because you're like a real artiste. You're like somebody who actually does art. And I'm like some chump who does stand up and also does this when they're bored. Don't judge me. Hey P, welcome to the club. P was there. We ordered too much pizza that day, didn't we P? We ordered two big slices each. And when I say big slices, I mean like they were like, they were like New York deli slices. They were like huge. And we also ordered chips, but not to share. We both had chips and I didn't eat many of the chips. P is just as worthy of your excitement if you were like uh cool badass bitches you should go and follow young p on um i don't know twitter we both survived edinburgh was lovely i really enjoyed it this duck is too there's something wrong with the duck's body i'm thinking it might be the size of it Oh, but now that doesn't feel right. Okay, so it must be the shape of it. <laughs> let's let's elongate. Yeah, here we go. Here we go. On the seventh day, God created ducks. Everyone thought he was resting. He wasn't. That looks that looks quite duckish. Shut up, P. Shut your mouth. We ordered the exact same amount each. Okay, so there we go. We've got basic duck body, okay? It's basic. But what next? See, you have a... Yes, thank you, Lexi. Keep posting that reference image for me. Of course, the beak. How could I forget the beak? So how, how are we... Um, do you, oh my, so you want me to animate the penis, Lucy? Is that what you're saying to me? I can. I'm happy to do that. But I've not yet attempted a corkscrew. So I'm a bit worried that's going to be too much. Um, I'll level with you guys. I'm not a blender expert, a blend, a blexpert. I'm not a blexpert yet. That's what we call it in the blender game. you got your bleginners and your blexperts, okay? And I'm somewhere between a beginner and slightly more experienced beginner, but I'm nowhere near a black spot. Now, see, most people, when they're doing a duck, or chumps, as I like to call them, these people, they'd, to do the beak, they'd just put a cone. They'd be like, yeah, we're going to have a beak. They'll look, watch, they'd do this. They'd go, beak, here's your flipping beak. That's what they'd say right? They'd go, here's your stinking beak. See, there's your beak. And now that might be okay for some people, or as I like to call them, chumps, as I already said. But to me, that looks more like a chicken, right? That's like a chicken's beak. So we're going to delete that. You know, I don't play that. Okay. I'm not a chump. The way I approach a beak is a little bit more sophisticated. The way I'm going to approach this beak, just looking at the reference image again, is I am going to add 
Watch this. You're going to be shocked when you see this. A sphere. What? What are you doing, Jen? A sphere? You've gone do lally. That's what you're thinking. Have I, though? Because watch this. There's a lot of things that can be done with a sphere. I'm telling you. You can transform a sphere. You can go. You can bring it right down like this. Because we don't want our beak to be flat. You know, we don't want a flat beak. You wouldn't ever. You wouldn't wish that on your worst enemy. What we want is something with a little bit of character to it. Oh. Like a little, what have I done? I've, I've done something wrong there. We want to bring it down. Okay, that's a good width, I think, Jen. That's good width. Uh, I'm going to sort of... Oh, 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 here we go. Here come the beak. Here come the beak. So, you see that? That is, is part of the beak. Now you're thinking still, you're like, what? I don't understand what's going on here. Okay, how is that beak? Well, watch this, guys. I mean, <laughs> I mean, what is she doing? <laughs> like, what is, what's going on? I don't know. I'm a woman of melly, melly talents. We can bring bring it in like that. How long? How long do we want this beak? This beak. How long do we want it? I'd say about that long, right? See, that's the that's the first. Oh my god, it's so good, right? That's the first, uh, the upper beak. Watch this. You press Shift and you press D. Do you know what happens? <laughs> it duplicates. Right. We'll put another one a bit shorter there right now that's a neutral expression but i don't want a neutral expression this is a space duck right lexi we don't play that what we do then is we go to rotate and we want it to be like right <laughs> am i right i'm loving i'm loving this duck already i'm gonna save don't look at my names. I'm going to make a new folder and we're going to call this Twitch. I'm going to call this Lexi's Space Duck. It's all of our space ducks, but Lexi did come up with the concept. But we ain't done yet. We're nowhere near done, are we? <laughs> okay. Now, I'm thinking wings. Okay, that's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking wings. I mean, I'm always thinking wings, but right now, I'm really think. I'm thinking. I'm thinking wings. Now, wings will be done in a similar way. So, what I can do is actually, I can act. No, let's do it. Let's just do it like this. Bring it down. Bring it up. We're gonna transform it. And then we're gonna flip it round like that and we're gonna do that. I'm gonna bring it down. I'm too do you know what? I'm actually too good at this. That's the thing. Flipping heck, that's a big wing, isn't it? That wing's... How big is a duck's wings? Is that right? Do ducks have wings that large? I... Who knows? We can rotate it, though. Oh, my God. It's so interesting how just a little rotation can just bring it to life, can't it? Just bring it to bloody life. I am going to want to... Uh, shorten that wing a little bit, I think. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> That's it. That's flipping perfect. And then, bring Space Duck here. 
guess what we're going to do, guys? Guess what I'm going to do? If you can guess what I'm going to do to this, this wing, I'll give you a kiss. We're duplicating it. Look at that. Exquisite. Now, the placement of this wing is a little bit off. But you know what? No one's perfect, this duck included. P coming in with the in-jokes there. This, this wing, you know what, to give it a little bit more character, I'm going to want to rotate it out like that a bit, I think. Oh, oh my god, this is good. For a first blend, guys. We're on fire. We're on fire. Okay. That's looking nice. Nice. Um, feet? What do we think about feet? Are we four feet? <laughs> four feet? No, just uh, two, please. Watch this. I think for... I think let's start with legs. Legs before feet. That's what my nan always said. Cylinders. How chunky are these legs going to be? Let's give it some thick, just one big leg. Uh, no, of course not. That's daft, isn't it? It's just crazy. We're going to shrink it, shrink it down like that. We're going to shrink it that way and we're going to shrink it. We're going to shrink it. <laughs> And uh, we're going to shrink it. Thin legs. We want a duck with thin legs. And then we're going to move it there. I want this duck to, to have style. You know, I want it to have a kind of wonkiness to its, like, gait. I want it to, I want it to have style. So that's kind of the kind of leg that we're going for. Now, listen, I'm not interested in, um, you know, dumb stuff like proportion and, uh, you know, realism. I'm interested primarily in how cool this duck looks. And at the moment, <laughs> I'm thinking it looks pretty fucking cool, right? This duck is shaking its funky ass at you. <laughs> Shake that funky ass. Shake that funky ass. Shake that funky ass. Shake that funky ass. Right. <laughs> okay, what do we need now? We need some feet, probably. I'm guessing. Also, let's... No, let's let's do the feet first. Oh my god, those legs aren't right. Your legs aren't right, love. That's better. I don't want them to be perfectly even. I want it to kind of be standing a little bit like jaunty you know um but let's let's give it some feet now how are we going to do the feet this is a hard one because duck's feet i know how i know how i figured it out in my head already i know what i'm doing we're going to start with one of these for the foot the ball of the like the foot you know Obviously, I know that's too big, okay? I'm painfully aware that that's too big. But what I haven't told you is, what I haven't disclosed, is that we're going to be flattening that foot, right? 
we're going to be getting that nice and flat. And listen, guys, if you're enjoying this and you're thinking like, oh, I wonder how I, I wonder if I could do this. You can't. No, if you're thinking like, oh, I wonder if I can do this. Blender is 100% free. Um, your computer might, you might have to have a slightly better computer than like a Windows 98 or whatever. You got to you've got to have some RAM. I'd recommend eight RAM, eight RAMs. But um, I think you could probably do something with four. I don't know. It's a free program. And if you've got a little bit of patience, there's a lot of um, like YouTube videos out there that are actually really good that teach you how to do it. I only watch like three or four, two or three. And look at me now. Look at me now. So yeah, I encourage you to download it. It's a lot of fun, I think. It will draw rams. Uh, well, you you kind of have to do it. Right, now that foot's pretty good, I think. Obviously, it's not finished. It needs some big, uh, like, webbed toes, right? Now, you guys, you can see what I'm doing, can't you? You can see what I'm doing. You You're way ahead of me. That's the thing. I'm proud of you guys. I'm proud of you. I'm not going to lie. I'm dead proud of my babies. Now, I've never I've never taken this much care to construct like a duck foot before. I mean, I've never I've never constructed a duck foot. But there's a first time for everything. Fill up, we're going to sneeze. We're going to power through it. I wish you guys could see the whole of the setup that I've got here. I I, I did like a light. Look, look at this, look. Ooh. <laughs> but you can't see it. Unless, of course, I come around this way a bit. And then we... Oh, yeah. That's better, isn't it? Now we're cooking with uh, gas. Now I look like a Twitch streamer. Because you can see my lights. Yeah. I got lights. I can illuminate a room. Rightio. I might have to change this light now. It's a bit much. Okay, back to the duck foot, which was actually my my nickname in school, uh, duck feet. Fun fact there. You're not the first people to hear about that. Um, I have I've been interviewed for things and I've I've told them. <laughs> right. Okay. Uh, oh look. I like the way it's kind of pointing upwards. I think that's going to be a thing that we have. Obviously, that's a... Oh, my God, what is going on here? It's not until you... Like, it's interesting, right? You don't really think about all the bits that make up a thing or a person or whatever it is that you're making. You don't think about all its component parts until you... um until you start putting them together you start to feel like god a little bit now that's too thin isn't it that's a thin that's too thin let's fatten it up a bit let's fatten that foot up that's what i always say let's get that foot nice and fat love that we're duplicating oh yeah I think this is looking I think do you know what I think this is looking pretty good I'm not even gonna lie to you yeah it is a bit sharp 
I will con I will you know concede that there's there's a sharpness to it, but I might be able to soften it. But then again, it is a space duck, remember? So we can kind of do what we want with it. That's like our get out of jail free card. We do, we do want, I wasn't, when I was thinking of doing this stream, I was thinking this is either going to be really interesting for people or it's going to be really boring, really, really dull. Um, that's per that's perfect. I, lo I love that. Oh my God, that's a bit, I think we need to bring you up a little bit. There we go. Perfect, duck foot. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to, I'm going to, I was going to join all the parts together, but I don't like joining things until the end. So I'm just going to, I'm going to duplicate it. There we go. We've got another foot. We do have to make sure that it's uh, in the right place, which can be difficult when you're dealing with three dimensions. Sometimes it looks like you've put something there. But it's uh, it's not there. But that looks like it's attached. God, this duck is looking sexy. I would date this duck. Lexi, I think you better answer P's query because this is your duck after all. Um, I think the duck needs like a little tail. Okay, it's being bred in space. But I was gonna I was thinking we could put like a jetpack on it. I mean, I don't know what you guys feel about that. If if you're not into that idea, that's fine. You know, I'll I'll politely, you know, shut up. But I was thinking a jetpack. Tell me what you think, you know. Right, we've lost a sphere. Oh, there it is. Oh my God, P, a space helmet is a perfect idea. And that means we can learn something together, which is, well, I mean, it sounds, actually, it sounds too hard because I don't know how to do like transparent stuff yet. Um, as I've said, I'm still learning, you know, I'm still learning. But, um, I don't know if someone wants to sort of, oh, look at that tail. That's good, you know, that's that's good, I think. Pretty pleased as punch with that. It was better when it when it was down a bit more. Down there. Yeah. Also I'll bring it um I'll sort of bring it around. When we get to sculpting we can like we can make it look more like a tail. When it comes to a space helmet, like I don't really know how I'd approach it. You can't just make a circle like a sphere because it has to, you know like you can like you can't just add a sphere because it's solid if someone wants to google how do you make a space helmet <laughs> or how do you hollow out a sphere and make it a space helmet we could hmm how could i make a space helmet I really, I really don't know. Let's stick with a jetpack for now. We'll do a jetpack, and then we'll, uh, and then we'll approach the space helmet if we've got time at the end. What I'm going to do is I'm going to um, position the camera on our sweet little duckling. We're going to get a good look at our duck uh, rendered as it is at the moment. This is our digital camera. As you can see, it's uh, sort of pointing at the duck. And we can go, oh, that's a good duck view. Right. And then what we can do is we can look at it rendered. 
there we go the light is not close enough that's why it kind of looks a bit a little bit shitty let's um let's bring the light down on it bring the light a bit closer and now let's have a look oh yeah there it is there's our little ducky Light's a bit intense. Bring it down to about 300. <laughs> Change the colour. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's the techno duck. Uh, you could cut the front of a sphere and then add a, solid a solidify modifier. That will be quite helmety. You could cut the front out of a sphere. That's... I okay. Let's, tr let let's try and learn together. Thank you, uh, champ for box welcome by the way we're making a duck don't know if you can see that um i'm gonna follow your advice because i do i i appreciate that there are going to be people watching this people coming in people leaving who are far more experienced in the art of blender black spurts than more than mere beginners like me that like, i understand that so i'm gonna take your advice let's try it so Step one, as you said, add a sphere. There's our sphere. Okay, so we've got a sphere. Let's turn off the uh, the rendering thing. We've got a sphere, and then you said, cut the front out of a sphere. Now, I don't know how to do that. How do I cut out any... How do I cut things out? Going to modelling. I haven't shown you guys modelling yet. We've only been on layout. You haven't even... We haven't got to modelling yet. But here we are. This is the modelling. So as you can see, what's happened is there's lots of little um, like dots, like little dotty, like dots, right? I'm in edit. I'm in edit mode, aren't I? Um, <laughs> this is edit mode, isn't it? Modelling. That's edit mode. And what you can do is you can press a dot or you can press a selection of dots or you can view it in 3D to see all the dots. And you can like pull it out. See, this is us. We're cooking with gas here. This is th these are three dimensions that we're dealing with. Um, okay, chamfer box. I'm I've, I'm there. That's it. Hit key three on your keyboard. That'll be face mode. Oh my! Oh my God! I didn't know the numbers did things. Okay, three. So that's face mode. Okay. Then just draw over some front bits. Draw over them. What with this? How do you draw? Draw over them. <laughs> Drawing over it. That's done nothing. Uh, draw over it. Yeah, I'm not. Yeah, face mode is scaring me too. I feel like I'm learning something. Okay, um, face mode. How do uh, how do I draw chamfer box? How do I draw? Teach me how to draw. What do I do? Uh, but honestly, I don't, I don't know what to do. Draw. I'm looking for draw. There's no draw. There's no drawing tools. Add cube, measure, annotate, transform, scale, rotate, move, cursor, select. Like this? <laughs> That's not right, is it? With the yeah, with the select tool. Like you want me to select like this. And th this is gonna be that. Oh, you can select the box. Oh, I see. So as opposed to selecting the dots, you can select the boxes. You're smart, champ. You're smart. So what are you thinking? You're thinking we're going to... Oh, I get what you're kind of saying. Oh, God. There are people out there smarter than I. Hit delete. Hit delete. Are you sure about that, champ? Are you sure hitting delete is going to be what we're supposed to do? What's going to happen if I press delete? I feel like it's... I'm kind of scared to hit delete. Well, you're not an idiot because I've learned something today, haven't I? 
Okay, so let's have a look. I'm going to hit delete. I'm ready. It did nothing. What do I do now? I press delete. Only faces. Which which one am I deleting? We've hit a wall. Delete faces. Oh my god. How did you Ah, oh, that is a helmet. Wow. That is that was cool. That was cool. Um I'm just going to like shape it a bit better. But that was sick. Sick advice. Absolutely groundbreaking stuff. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete it all down here as well. Do you know why? Because we're going to want somewhere for the duck's head to go through. God, I'm so excited about this. Oh, my God. Okay, so here, so now we can go back to layout. That is genius. Absolutely, you you've saved you've saved the day, champ for box. You've saved the day. I didn't think we were going to get a helmet. Never in a million years did I think that was going to happen. You've just changed the game. You've changed the whole game on my on my blendering experience. Oh my god, look at this. What the hell? That is incredible. It's inc it's beautiful. No, we can do that. I mean, yeah, we're going to... I have done this before. I have... I do know how to add a modifier. See? Um, we can go to... What did you say? Solidify. Um, that would be in... Uh, it would be in... Modify. No, it would be in Generate. Solidify. And then we can add the thickness up. Oh, it's a bit thick. That is cool. Wow. <laughs> Whoa, what's happening? My God. Space Duck isn't just happening. Space Duck is fucking out of this world at this point. Now, Champ, I've been told that there's a way to have, like, a glass effect on it. I, I don't know how. I have no idea. I don't know how we're going to do that with the, with, the, with the beak as well. I think we can have, like, a little space for the beak, which kind of... Or it could, or it could dome out, like, all the way over here, couldn't it? But I don't know how to do that. We'll, we'll, again, we'll take it one step at a time. Right, let's add a jetpack. Jetpack's going to be easy. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take this little ring and I'm going to put it over here. So what that does is now when I generate a shape, it should appear here. Um, yeah, we're going for a cube, an old fashioned cube. I've, I've turned my nose up at cubes before. Not today. We need it now. Because oh, do you know why we need it? Because we're making a jetpack, aren't we? We're making it a jetpack. Jetpack's going to be pretty easy, I think. We're going to bring it down like that. We're going to put it on its back. That's where jetpacks go. Right. <laughs> oh 
shaders yes thank you champ you're so look lexi you're an icon of today because you suggested space duck and champ you're an icon today because you're just helping me um what this is what i was hoping for i was hoping it was going to be like a collaborative thing like this i was hoping we were going to make things come alive and we are and i can't believe we've only got five viewers because this is like this is some next level shit i'm not gonna lie now that jetpack's nowhere near done because what we actually need is some cylinders Jetpacks have cylinders, okay? That's something I'm aware of. I've seen a jetpack, it had cylinders. Um, also, it needs, yeah, it needs like, how am I gonna, there's a way that I can round off these edges, right? How do I round off the tops? There's a way of doing that. depth and it's not this it's not this bit here there's definitely a way of doing it but i don't know what it is uh we're gonna put this over here <laughs> i love seeing stuff come together look at this jesus we're, we're gene you know what we're artists. I have to, I, I just have to tell you that. If you're here and you're watching this and you're contributing, even, and when I say contributing, I even mean just watching, supporting. You're an artist. You helped with this. I mean, I did it, but I'm doing it. But you're like a consultant and you helped in your own way. Look at that beautiful beautiful <laughs> my donation goal pay I was explaining before you got here that I put it on because I watched a video um, by like a like some cool young Twitch streamer and they said, even if you're not even trying to make any money, they were like, put a donate thing on there because that's the way Twitch works. That's what people want. They want to feel like they're, that's how they communicate, that's how people do it. I don't know. I'm not young. I'm not doing this for the money, believe it or not. If people want to donate, they can, okay? I'm not going to stop them. I like the choice being there. There's an option. But I don't need money to make art. I don't do art for money. I do art for art. That being said, if you do want to subscribe to my Patreon, it's uh, patreon.com slash genives. A milkshake. Okay. A pizza. Yeah, I like that. That's more likely than a milkshake. All right, guys. Uh, buy me, uh, donate and buy me a pizza. <laughs> you can, if you want. I'm not, I'm not going to stop you. Okay. So, um, champ, I need you again. How do I uh, sort of like round off these edges here on these um, cylinders? I want them, I want them, I want them like, I want them, you know, like a gas canister. That's what I want it to look like. Um... Just having a look through this. Could it be bullion? I don't know what that means. Could it be decimate? Could it be... Uh, could it be something else? Could it be cloth? It's not cloth. I know what cloth is. Uh, 
champ's thinking, you don't pay me to, to help you. You figure it out. That's what champ's thinking. I'm thinking you need to chill out, champ. Subdivision modifier. Uh, what, subdivision surface? Let's try that. Oh, look at that. It's gone like, um... Like a pencil, you know when you, you know when you, the pencil gets worn down, it looks like that. Uh, oh, look at that, that's good. It's not perfect, but it's, it's good. But it's not perfect. So, keep going, champ, what, what else could we, what else could we have? Like, that's kind, I mean, it's kind of... I mean, it's something. <laughs> it's not what I envisioned in my heart. You you want me to bevel it now? You want me to you want me to bet? Oh, what's happened here? Okay, so look, this is where I get confused, right? Um. Um. Oh, is that face? Oh, that's face mode. That's okay. So now we want to we want to go into number one. Okay, so. What are you telling me to? What are you telling me to do here? Obviously, I'll have to select them all. Well, not. Uh, is is that what you mean? <laughs> it is a bit like a cucumber, isn't it? Is this what you mean for me to do? That's not doing anything. Um, I'm stuck, champ. I'm stuck. I don't know what I'm doing. So, what happened there? That's, yeah, I don't know about this. Delete the modifier first. De oh, I see. Oh, you want me to... Okay. You want me to do it, like, from here. I deleted the modifier. And now I've just got this again. So you want me to... What do you want me to do? <laughs> that? <laughs> you want me to do, like, this? That just moves it. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm stuck. Select the end of the cylinder. Do you mean on faces again? That's weird. Why can't you select like the? It doesn't have. Does it not have a face? Oh, it, it does have a face. Like like that. And then. That's not doing anything. Is does it need more faces? Does it need like um? Does it need to be subdivided? That didn't work. You can't subdivide the end. Um, well, I'm stuck. That helmet's annoying me. I'm going to um, smoothen it just quickly. There we go. Look at that. Nice smooth helmet. I'm going to smooth his head as well. Bevel tool. Bev what's the bevel? What's the bevel tool? How do you... What's a bevel? How do you bevel? What's a, be what's a bevel? Oh, that's bevel there. Uh, what's happening? Is that... Oh, that's doing something. So it's... Uh, 
so it's like making it pointy <laughs> again like a little anus like whoop, whoop, whoop. okay so we've done that <laughs> what's that what is that I don't like that why is it what oh my god what have we done? <laughs> um, oh, that's pretty good, actually. I mean, I like that, but you're right, it could be better. Oh, I... I, I get it now. I literally understand it. Fucking hell, look at that. Look at that. That's what I wanted. <laughs> Do you know what, champ? You you should be here every time. You've got an invitation. I'm going to delete that because I'm not doing it twice. Do you know what I mean? I'm not even doing it. I'm not even doing this one. I'll show you a little hack so you don't have to do this one. Just move that like there. <laughs> there, now it's a part of the helmet. <laughs> and then this one. We love that. We stand that. So they're the they're the they're the like canisters, but you also need the um oh <laughs> duplicate. You need the uh thrusters. Aren't shapes magical? Did you did you ever think that you would be so invested in shapes? When you were learning about shapes in primary school, you probably thought, I don't need that. I don't need to know about shapes. Dead wrong. Blender's all about shapes. Not sure. Oh. Duplicate. Now, hmm. Hey, check this out. Because I'm learning, right? Because Chamfer Box has taught me something today. Let's see if this works. I mean, it kind of worked. It gave me like a cool shape, but it didn't do exactly what I thought it was gonna do. I thought it was gonna cut this out, but hey, I know what to do because I've been taught, haven't I? If we go to modeling and we go to face mode, was it, was it three? And then we can select Oh, it did go in. It did go in. It is inside. Do you know what? If I had a light on there, um, I'd probably be able to see that better. Let's have a... Let's put a light there so I can see it. And yeah, we're going to put thrusters in it eventually. Don't you worry about that. Oh no, it hasn't. Look, it hasn't done that. It hasn't given it a um an inside. Or has it? No, it hasn't. So ha so now we, we might have to actually do what I said, which is this, and then delete uh faces. Yes. <laughs> Now it, my God, 
Look at that chamfer fox. Chamfer box. Chamfer fox. I'm learning. I'm learning. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm so happy. You know when you like figure something out and it like makes you feel really smart, even though someone literally just showed you, told you how to do it. You're proud. You guys are proud of me, aren't you? Just, just tell me you're proud of me, for God's sake. It's all I want. Okay. This is the great thing about this is like it's useful for me as well because I get to learn stuff. And I hate learning through watching YouTube videos. Like it's the worst. I much prefer this, you know. Through being told by smart people. Thank you, Chamfer Box. Hey, Chamfer Box, tell us all a little something about yourself. Why not? You've earned it. I'll tell you something we've forgotten to do with this beautiful duck. We haven't given it any eyes. What are we like? How could we not? How could we have missed that? I'm going to do something that I don't usually do which is I'm going to sculpt the eye sort of like over here, away from the duck. And then I'm going to, um, I'm going to like stick it on. Uh, imagine if the twist was that Chamfer Duck was like, this whole time they were, I don't know, who's a f <laughs> David Hockney, and you're like, oh my god. I make music too sometimes, Chump for Fox. What kind of music do you make? I bet it's like cool music. Okay, we're creating the eye, the beautiful and delicate duck eye. The grotesque duck eye. I don't know what duck's eyes look like exactly. I'm going to guess they look like this. Right? Like that. <laughs> Why is it like that? Why has it gone so hideous? What's with this like? What's with this bit, right? What's what's this about? Just smooth out this duck a bit. It's all about it being smooth. The stuff has to be smooth. Everything has to be smooth in my eyes. If it's not smooth, then it ain't worth it. You get me? Even the legs have to be smooth. Hey, Champ, if you want to um, post your music on there or whatever, I mean, I've listen, I don't want to brag, but I've got four people watching this and you're one of them. So, you know, give yourself a shout out. Right, we're going to keep it simple with the eye. Also, we're going to wrap it up. Not wrap it up, but what we're going to do is we're going to, like, I'm only doing this for two hours every time, so I'm, I'm ending at 10. So really what we want is we want this coloured and we want it lit and we want a scene made before 10 o'clock. I'm happy to go a little bit over, but we need to move on in a minute. So I'm going to make these eyes and then we're going to move on. 
you get what I'm saying. Hot donkey. We'll check it out. We'll check out hot donkey. Hey, if I've got permission, maybe next time hot donkey will be the music that's playing underneath the stream. Imagine that. Imagine that. Right, I need to figure out a way to do this eye. I don't really know what the best way to do the eyeball is. I used to do it. Like, I feel like I should be adding another sphere. But it's kind of not working. Oh, that's okay. That works. That works. That's an eye. You see that? That's an eye, isn't it? That's definitely an eye. Oh, nice. Okay, so next next stream, we're going to play some Hot Donkey underneath it. And likewise, if anyone else has any music that they don't mind me putting on the video, I, I'm going to upload these to YouTube afterwards as well. Um, if you don't mind me doing that, that'd be lovely. You know, I'm always looking for, like, royalty-free music and stuff like that. Okay, that's kind of an eye. Like I would like to have music over this, but I didn't want to. I didn't want to use like any music that would get copyrighted on my uh, YouTube. You know what YouTube's like these days. Am I right? I love it when the eyes come together. Look at this. Look at this monstrous. I want it to look goofy. Sort of like my style. <laughs> I'm aware that the eyes are too big. But we want them a little bit big. We want them to look funny, don't we? We want funny looking eyes. What are we thinking? Are we thinking sort of like wonky? Sort of like... Oh, I didn't know I could do it like that. There's a lot of learning going on in this episode. For example, I didn't know that I could press this bit here and rotate it like that. <laughs> okay, uh, let's put it like that. Oh my god, look how cute it is. It's so cute. How cute is this guy? This little space duck. Honestly. I don't think it needs the, uh, the like, glass over it. I don't think we've got time, but we'll do that next time. Maybe before we start our blender next time, we'll... we'll We'll see if we can... Perf no, do you know what? Let's do it. No, no, let's not. I think it's going to take too long for me to learn it. I think this is fine. This is fine. It's fine. Now, I think what we want to do is we want to do a little bit, just a tiny bit of sculpting. Just make sure I save it. Now we're in the... <laughs> we're in the sculpting. set. I don't want to sculpt all of it because I like some of the shapes. I just kind of want to sculpt the tail, I think. That's what I want to sculpt. So I'm thinking, this is a weird thing that happens. Go to layout, click off of that, go to sculpting. 
where's the oh yeah you have to select a bit that you want to sculpt there we go so i'm going to use this and i'm going to kind of kind of just give it a little bit oh god not no what have i done there um the strength is too high i mean come on guys Come on. What an artist. I love the sculpting bit. It's like my favourite bit. Look at this. That's a duck. That's gone too... That's too much. I, I like that. I like the imperfection of it. And then we're going to select this. Want the radius up a bit and then the rest. Sort of just, you know, give it a little bit of imperfection, you know. And then we'll do the top one. Love that. Too much ducktail. Do you th do you think that's too much? Do you think we should bring it down a bit? Hey, look, I am but a humble servant. Okay. I will do as I'm to. Oh, that was better, wasn't it? Look at that. Get a bit smaller, but then bring it up. A, oh, bring that up a little bit. I think. I mean, it looks kind of the same <laughs> as it did before. That's the one we want. This one. Kind of just I don't want it to look too perfect, that's all. I'm happy with that tail. I don't want to add too you know, you don't want to go too mad. I tell you what I'm not happy with though. Uh the lighting. I'm not happy with the lighting at all. I'm also not that jazzed with the uh, with the position of our young duckling. So I'm going to slightly turn it so we get a little bit more of the shape and um, turn that off. That's better. And we'll get multiple angles, you know. But I like that as kind of just like a, hi, I'm a duck. I'm here to duck. I'm going to do some joining now. I'm going to join some bits to make it easier to colour them. I'm going to just join the feet up. Um, where's join? Join. Join. Now it's one bit. Join. Okay, cool. <laughs> there we go. So what's next, guys? We're going to add some colour. Okay? We're going to add some colour. Now, I'm not messing around with, like, textures, image textures and stuff like that. I just want it to... I just want a bit of, like, cartoon colour. You know, I want it to pop. Um... So obviously, the eyes, we're going to want them to be like black, the pupils. You get me? That's what we want. We're going to want, obviously, the white iris, uh, what's it called? What's the bit of the eye 
the white bit of the eye, the, uh, the, the egg white of the eye. Okay, now this is where it's going to get fun, because now we're going to colour in this little duckling. And I'm going to ask you, what are we doing? What, what's the colours that we're having? What colours are we wanting? Oh God, that's, that's, that's bright, isn't it? That's a bit bright, isn't it? Let's bring that down to 20. There he is. Look at him, the sexy little duck. Okay, just have a nice little blue light on him for now. How many lights have I got? Oh, there's one here. Let's bring this one. Let's light the back of them a little bit. That should be an area light. And that one's going to be nice. And we're going to go for some bisexual lighting just for now. Because um, I like it. <laughs> Look at that. Okay, so make it one of those handsome ducks with the shiny green heads and a white collar. We can do that, P. We absolutely can. So a green head. It's kind of like that sort of colour, isn't it? When it's a duck. Kind of like that. And the neck, you can barely see the neck. We put all that effort into the neck. But we'll make it white. Lovely. And then what about the body? The main body. I should I should just add another light actually. I should add like a sunlight. Um, actually we can just put it on like that for now. Okay. So looking good. Um, what colour should we make the main body? Or what colour should the helmet be? Oh, here's a thing. Here's something you can help me with, champ champ for box. How do I how do I make like a text not a texture, I don't want an image texture. I want like a I want I want <laughs> I want the helmet to look like reflective, like a mirror, like, you know, like mirror, like cool. Surely there must be a setting in here to, to give it like a mirror effect. How do I do that? There's got to be a way. In the meantime, let's let's get these uh, duck lips. The, what do you call it? Beak. <laughs> um coloured. I think beaks are normally like brown, aren't they? Kind of like brown. Or yellow. Oh, that looks good, actually. Like the kind of yellowy colour. No, not orange. Well, it can be orange, but, I'm, but I want it to... I want it to um, be like chrome. That's what I want. I want it chrome and reflective and cool. Shading tab. Cool. We'll do that in a second. Let me just um, pick this colour. I think like orange. I think like that kind of orangey colour. It's quite good. I think it could even be more orange than that. Now that, that looks pretty good, I think. Yeah, we'll go for that. And then we'll... Um, we'll copy the old hexadecimal code. I know what I'm doing. I know about hexadecimal codes. All right. There we go. What a cool looking duck. Okay, so we select this and then you say we go into shading. This is where it becomes a nightmare for me. Nodes. I don't understand nodes. Okay, I've tried nodes. I've, I've, done, I've succeeded in nodes before. But I don't understand nodes. I've copied nodes from the internet. I made some um, some like fog once using nodes, but I don't know where to start. I don't know how to make this um, chrome. So here I am, you know, help me out. Help me out, champ for box. Show me how to chrome this duckling. 
It says, look, use nodes, but I don't want to use nodes. Surface? is Oh, is it, oh, is it this? Is it a shader that I need? Do I need to add a shader? I'm going to press it. I'm going to try it. It did nothing. I've, se I've got the helmet selected. Helmet is select. I added a shader. I should delete it, shouldn't I? Um, oh, look, that's come up. That's a node, everybody. And you can plug them into each other. Because mum and node's best. <laughs> okay, what do I do? Oh, metallic. No, not that. Okay. I, I delete that. That's got... Oh, no, what's happened? That's its face that I've got selected, isn't it? Idiot. Select the helmet. Okay. Helmet is selected. Select the helmet. Change the top colour to black. What, here? Like... How do I... Wait, let's take it one step at a time. Um, how do I... What do I... What do you mean to change the top colour? Just, just change the colour to black. Just add a new uh, text... A new material. Like this. And then go like black, like that. Is that what you mean? Because I did that. So I've done that. Oh, on the node. So don't, so don't do that. Okay, so I've got a node now. So we go here and you say there's one called top colour. Do you mean, do you mean... Is there a top? Do you mean base colour? Do you mean this one? Oh, base colour, yeah, okay. So base colour, black. Okay, got that. And slide metallic all the way up. Okay. Yeah, metallic's all the way up. Oh my god, look at that! Holy shit, that looks incredible, but it's not quite what I was going for. But that looks fucking sick. I'm not going to lie. That looks sick. With that lighting as well. That looks sick. With that with that lighting, that looks sick. Like, I'm not going to lie, that duck, with that lighting, it looks like it's in space, doesn't it? Sorry, I'm getting excited. <laughs> um, Slide roughness down. Oh my god. Look, oh my god. <laughs> what? 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 I'm sorry. What? Um, okay, that's cool. So what if I change the colour though? What if we change the colour? <gasps> oh my god. <gasps> oh my lord. <laughs> we gotta save it. Then just tweak the base. Oh my god. Oh my fucking god. Lexi's gonna cry. I'm gonna cry. I, mean, I don't think I've ever made anything as beautiful as this. I am... I'm shaken. I'm, I'm shaken at how good this is. Okay, guys, what colour are we thinking for the helmet? What are we thinking? What's this? <laughs> what are we thinking for the helmet? We got, like, red... We got like blue, we got like, we can go darker. I just don't know, I don't know. Like, I just can't decide. Do you know what I'm gonna do? I'm also gonna like, I'm gonna make a background. I'm gonna make low, no, I don't know. The thing is, I want the duck to be, like, suspended in space, like it's zooming through space with its, um, blasters. 
but there needs to be something to reflect into its helmet. So maybe I'll quickly make a few planets as well to surround it. You'll see what I mean. I know what, I think I know what I'm doing. What color are we going for the helmet? I liked it when someone said like orange. Like a kind of, like a kind of cool, like that. Look at that, like 70s space duck, right? Oh my gosh, beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. You have to remember, we haven't lit it properly yet. So what we'll do is we'll come back to this. We'll continue to, um, sh let's shade some other things. Let's do the tanks. Okay. Now look, I'm learning here. Roughness down, metallic up. Right? Am I right? Yes, I am. Um, these ones, we're going to go, they're going to be darker. Okay. They're going to go dark. Like, 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 like kind of, we want them like, um, silvery, like, like, yeah, like silver. Like that. And we're going to copy that hexadecimal thing again and do this one. Jesus, look at this. Use a starfield image as a background, although you'd have to find one off the internet, but it'll reflect off the shiny. Okay, I'll do that. I'll do that. Starfield HD. What does HDRI mean? Um, I need you to tell me because I don't know what it means. Let's go kind of green for these. Oh, I like that. I like that. I mean, we're probably not even going to see them. That's the funny thing. But um, I don't care. I just don't care. I feel like when we share this on Twitter, people are going to shit themselves. High dynamic range image. Right, I'm going to download that now. Just give me a second while I do that. High dynamic range image star field. High dynamic range image star field free. So, so dreamstime.com, Starfield Panorama, oh, a panorama, I see. Okay, well, I have to pay for this. It does say free, free download, though, but I have to sign up. I'm not doing that. There's a free one on DeviantArt. I'll nick that. <laughs> I'll nick that one. Right, I've got, listen, I've got that. I've downloaded it. How do I add it, please? Oh my God, look at it. It's beautiful. I've downloaded the high dynamic range image. Um, how do I create the like box that you're talking about? Um, yeah, like I was wondering this as well, like how do I, um, how do, how do I, how do I make like a, what do you call it? Like a sphere. I haven't got, I have got the node wrangler activated actually. I know how to do this. Look, this is, this is uh, preferences. Um, and then you can type wrangler, node wrangler. Look, it's activated. See, I'm not, I pretend to be dumb, but I actually do know some things because I've actually come across that before. Yes, I've got it activated. To answer your question. So I've got the node wrangler activated. I am bossing it. Um, let's continue to just colour this little baby in while we wait for Chamfer Box's incredible advice. What colour are the wings going to be? They've got to be like a dark green, haven't they? They've got to be like a dark green, I feel. 
we'll come back to this. So in shading, yeah, click on object mid left. Object, yeah, select world. World. I don't see world. Object. I don't I don't have world. Why don't I have world? What object? I don't have what? I don't have world. Am I crazy? I can't see world. Oh, here. Here. Ah. Uh, uh. Okay, world. And then new, I'm guessing, right? And then, oh, not in this menu. Hello, Baldy. Oh, my God, Baldy's back. You missed all the hard work, Baldy, but look what we've made. Look what we've made. Um, click new. Um, uh, click the left node, this one. Mm. And what, delete it? Yeah, I'm on the left node. You know it. Control T. Oh, look, something's popped up. Okay. And then new here on environment texture. I'm guessing. I don't, I don't want to do anything wrong, so I'll just like wait for you to tell me, because I don't want to do anything wrong. Um, is it open? Do I have to open it? Do I have to go open? If I go, I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna just try this. I'm gonna go open, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna do the. The free star. Yeah, that's, I was way ahead of you. Here it is. Okay, I've clicked it. <gasps> oh my God, look. <laughs> everybody look. Look everybody. Look. Everybody. Look, look what we've done. Everybody, everybody, look at what we've done today. <laughs> we're, we're literally incredible. We're incredible people with incredible dreams. Let's finish colouring this duck, shall we? Before we get ahead of ourselves. Um... <laughs> We need, I can't believe we're nearly finished. We've got 20 minutes to go and look at this, look at us. You know what, guys, when we share this on Twitter in a minute, when it's done, everyone's going to shit themselves. And I'm going to credit you all. If you want to be credited in this artistic dream, um... Just say like, yes, please, and I'll credit you. Okay, so um, let's add a colour to here. It's like these, these aren't really that important, these colours here. I mean, they are important, but no, let's have it be orange, actually. 
let's go along with the sort of theme. Hot Donkey Mike on Twitter, great. I will definitely credit you. God knows you've earned it. Um, let's, okay, wing colour. I'm thinking like a dark green. That's quite a nice green. I think that complements the rest of it. Um, let's get our hexadecimal here. Hey Lexi, can you post that little emoji of the duck again? I need it for reference. Thank you. <laughs> so that duck has like a little, it has a brown body underneath and it has white wings. Not sure how I feel about white wings. We'll see, I guess. We'll try it. You can only try it, can't you? I just can't believe how good this is going to be. To be quite honest with you, I can't believe it. I feel like those feet colours aren't right. Let's... Let's bring those a bit lighter. No, they're okay. They're okay, that's okay. Um, let's do brown on this. That's not brown. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. That's quite nice. Nice little brown there. <laughs> you have to remember that it's all in the lighting, you know? It's all in the lighting, guys. Like, this might look a bit shit. But, you know, when you go like that, I mean, what can you do? <laughs> Although it does... Uh, well, the reason why that looks so... Uh, so sort of pink is because of the lighting that we've put on it so what we can do is we can just change the lighting that's what i'm thinking just change the bloody lighting <laughs> oh i wanted to show you something else that i really want to do is i would really and what we're going to do is we're going to photograph we're going to we're going to render this at lots of different angles so we can really see our whole work that we've done. I usually render in Eevee. Um, let me know, Chamfer Box, if I should be doing it in cycles. I don't know. I don't know what's. I don't know what's best. I really don't know the difference. Eevee's definitely quicker. Um, right, lighting. It's lighting time, isn't it? It's lighting time, Cafe. Let's sort these lights out. So, this light is. I'm gonna just. I'm gonna gonna keep it white and this light I'm also gonna keep white because we just want we want the colours we want the, the colour oh my god look at it look at it we'll play with the colours a little bit in a minute but what I want to do first is I want I want to <laughs> I'm gonna show you something cool yeah we're gonna be doing jetpack um like flames Okay, and the way we're going to do that is we're going to save it and we're going to add a light, right? Um, and it's going to be a point light. Yeah, cycles is hard. Okay, so we've got this point light and yeah, I'm going to put it inside here right like in it like it's going inside actually it's not point it's spot that i want and we want it coming out see kind of what i've done there um we will rotate the light 
So it's coming out of the uh, of the jetpack, and I'm gonna I'm gonna how do I is it radius? No, it's, I'm gonna keep the radius down quite a lot like that. I'm gonna ah yeah oh yeah okay let's see what this looks like. So what colour, it's going to be like flames colour, like that, like, like red flames. Maybe we'll do two lights, maybe we'll do a red flames and a, and a, and a flipping yellow flames. And maybe the red flames will be like 5,000. Okay, that hasn't quite done what I was, what I wanted it to. Maybe sun. Maybe point. Ah, uh, point. That's the one we wanted. Point. Look at that. The flames are kind of coming out, but it's not quite right. Uh, again, it's all trial and error, right? It's all trial and error. Oh, I don't want to move all that. I just want the light. This is one little nightmare that you that we sometimes have. There we go. We won't have it right inside. Area, that's the one we want. Area, because it's like coming out. That's it. That's what we want. It's like bloody coming out, isn't it? And then we want that to be like, like a bit yellowy, like that. And then... It doesn't look exactly how I wanted it to look. Oh. But it's kind of what I was going for a little bit. It's not exactly what I wanted. It's more like it's burning, it's burning its own butt now. Um. I have to, I have to say guys this this is this is really incredible work from all of us you know I don't know 40,000 might be too much that's it that'll do that'll do on that so we'll just duplicate that and put one in there I think I'm, I think it might be too bright. I think subtlety might be what what we need on these point lights. It didn't it didn't change it didn't make much of a difference, weirdly. Okay, 1,000? Yeah, 1,000 works, I think. 1,000 Ws, that's it. Because we still want a bit of the colour. That kind of looks like a weird little face there. Um, okay, so we're nearly done. Um, we just need to light the duck slightly better, I think. I'm going to save it again. 
this is our view. And um, we want our main light sources. Why is that? Be we don't need a light behind it yet. We want a light above it because we want to be able to see those beautiful, those beautiful, uh, what do you call it? Chrome things. I find like the lighting bit of it the most fun. It's, it's where you really start to feel like, like a flipping, um, what do you want to call it? A director. Which one looks better? Point looks, does point or air, point? Point looks better. Nice point light. Um, yeah, that's pretty good. It's not lighting this. Why is this not? Does it need to be? Would it help if it was... Uh, What's going on? I want this. Um. Oh yeah, we want to go on object. Okay. So would it help if the this was brighter? Yeah. Yeah have it be brighter so we can see it a bit better uh, there we go we're really getting into the weeds now well thank you for the advice chamfer box but i did it on my own that time okay um oh he's so pretty he's a pretty little boy isn't he um, and then we need uh, another, we need the other light, which is like, there's that one, and then there's this one. It's all about shadows, you know, it's all about shadows. I'm thinking, again, blue, kind of like, kind of Oh, I like that. I like what that's done. <gasps> oh, yes. I like that. It's like kind of mystical. Do you know what his head looks? A little bit like a bowling ball. Also, I'm going to slightly change... Um, I'm going to change the duck's shape. Not shape, sorry. Oh, we don't want to select the lights. Oh, this always happens. Always select the lights. Uh, how do I select everything except the lights? Bloody nightmare this is. Why is it selecting that light? I didn't... That's. I'm not asking that light to be selected at all. Let's move that up there. Select you. There we go. And then watch this. <laughs> Let's have it be sort of like. Because <laughs> he's going through space, isn't he? That's the thing. No, I preferred it how it was, actually. We can always turn it, can't we, in our own time. You're right about moving the camera. You are <laughs> you are right about that. I'll give you that one. I'll give you that point. Okay? God, so beautiful. Um... I feel like we're nearly done. Let's get a few snaps of this. 
Okay. Let's um save it. Let's just look. I know when to when to stop, and that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna we're gonna stop. So we're gonna render. We're gonna render the image. Now you guys probably aren't gonna be able to see this because obviously you only get access to the the blender thing. But I will show you it in a minute. Okay, you'll see it in a minute. You'll see it in a minute. I'm just going to make sure these are all saved in a, in a special folder. Okay, a uh, new folder. Let's go Lexi Space Duck. That'll be number one. Let's have, let's, let's have a lot of colour depth. Okay, we've got angle one. Let's do a new angle now. Let's move that camera, you know, <laughs> let's do it. Now I want the camera um, further back. So, uh, God. <laughs> let's move the camera further back. Let's also sort of move it. Sort of more like that. Let's bring it down a bit so it's more looking upwards at the duck. I always do that. It always looks like it's one way, but it actually needs to be that way. Okay. Okay. Um. Not quite right. Not quite right, actually. Let's move it back, 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 back. Back, 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 back. Down, 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 down. Up, 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 up. So I realise that I'm not talking much at the moment. It's just because I'm so engrossed in this space duck thing. Um, we want we want the camera. We want to we want to we're going to flip the camera upside down. I think at a jaunty sort of angle because we want it to be like space. You know, it's disorientating, isn't it? space it's like you don't know what's going on <laughs> when you're in space you just don't know what's going on do you it's like this sort of thing um <laughs> what do i what uh is there an easier way to like turn the camera without having to do like all of this shit because i don't Let's try and find the best angle first. Because I still feel like it would just be easier if I just turned the duck. <laughs> okay. Well, we'll have to come back again at some point this week and sort this out. I'm just trying to... Uh, basically, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get a better look at sort of like the side profile of this little duck um we just i want it to feel like disorienting because obviously it's space, isn't it? It's bloody space. So I know I can move it like that. 
but then is there like a oh okay I can, okay i can zoom in and out like that and then how do i is this is there like a oh that's something is that um rotate is r aha okay that's cool okay we can rotate like this That's this is like two thousand and one, right? Um And what if I wanted to go around it? I bet that wouldn't be possible, would it? Like I wanna kind of what I want to do is I want to animate it, but I don't have time for that. But imagine it like careening through space. How good would that be? Um, I feel like I want to, I want to move the duck just because I don't like these big stars here and I want to kind of change the, um, I want to change the reflection on the duck, if that makes sense at all. Let me just make sure our duck came out okay in the render. It did. Beautiful. I'll show you guys that in a minute. Do you know what? For a first go on Gen Blends, I think I think we've done a phenomenal job, to be honest with you. I'm gonna ah, uh, do you know what? This would be helpful if I relit it actually. Just moved the lighting around a little bit. So we can see different parts of the duck. Yeah, that'll do. Um, this one though, I'm gonna render it slightly differently. I'm going to render it, render it, render it transparent so there's nothing around it. No space. And you'll see why when I upload it. Um, render image. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. And then we'll get one more at one more angle. And then we're flipping done. That's what I said. We're done then. Um, Oh, what if I... Oh, okay, I closed it by accident. I can't find it now. <laughs> I've lost the duck. There it is. <laughs> Look at this for a shot. What do you think of this? This is a real, like, 2001 kind of shot, I think. Oh, 
like really floating through space on this one. Um, this is this is kind of what I wanted actually. That's exactly the kind of thing I wanted. We'll just change the lighting source again. See that we move that, and we can then see the feet a little bit better. And then the other lights. Is it doing all the way over there then? That's that's good, I think. Really like that. What are we thinking, guys? What are we thinking? Gorgeous. Right, let's just render this. Remember, guys, please leave your um, name in the chat if you want me to um, shout you out. Also, all three of these images will be available for you um, to do with what you will as you help me make them. Um, I, if you just... I'm going to try and figure out a way to supply you with a high quality uh, version of it. Um, I don't really know how though. I don't, I, there's no, I don't think there's like a, I don't think there's a, no, do you know what? There's not a way to do that, is there, on Twitch. You can't just like, I can't just give you a high quality. Basically, all these are going to be available for everyone. <laughs> They'll be on a, I'll make, what I'll do is... I'll upload them onto my DeviantArt. I have a DeviantArt. I'll link it on my Twitter. If you don't follow me on Twitter, it's at Jen Ives Comedian. Uh, you'll see them there. You can uh, download them. I'll also put a link on my Twitch page as well, um, as you're all on Twitch. And you can see them. I'm going to give um, Lexi and... Champ for box a shout out on this one and uh i hope you enjoy it also yeah champ for box if you want to use the space duck for anything like just use it just just go for it um there's a, there's a transparent version of it that i'll be uploading at some point so uh that's it guys i hope you enjoyed it thank you so much for joining me for the first episode of gen blends this beautiful piece of artwork would have never been created had it not been for us can you can you imagine like like we are the people who made this um i don't know when i'm next going to do one uh probably this week I, I enjoy this so one evening this week again i'm um, just keep an eye on my twitch and i will let you guys know or twitter whatever um thanks for all your help everybody have a nice day. Um, if you want to follow me on Patreon, uh, it's Patreon slash Gen Ives. Lots of fun stuff there. No pressure. And um, have fun. Goodbye. Enjoy your life. Ta-ra. <laughs> and this will be uploaded to YouTube as well. Okay, bye guys.